hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to discuss about food engineering's very important topic that is freezing of food so the storage life of food can be extended by the freezing of product so freezing of food involves a removal of energy from the food so freezing time for foods and other products can be predicted by planck's equation so in this planck's equation so small tf is the freezing time that is in the seconds and capital tf is the freezing temperature of the food product ta is the temperature of cooling medium a is the thickness of slab or diameter of cylinder or sphere and k is thermal conductivity lambda or l is latent heat of freezing now in this equation the value of p and r are different for different geometries so this is represented as this so for infinite slab infinite cylinder and sphere the value of p and r are shown here now let's discuss about the important formulas for the planck's equation which is related to planck's equation so when a food material is frozen from both the surface of the slab then the a that is the thickness that is used in that particular formula is divided by 2 that is half of the thickness if the mass fraction of water in the food is w and latent heat of freezing of pure water is lambda not then the lambda can be calculated by this and for the packaged food products the thermal resistance of packaging should be taken into account when determining an appropriate value for heat transfer coefficient so packaging has the effect of reducing the overall heat transfer coefficient which is given by this 1 upon u is equal to 1 upon h plus x upon k so here x is the thickness and k is the thermal conductivity of packaging material so if in the question there is a packaging material is used for the food product then by using this particular formula the overall heat transfer coefficient can be calculated now let's understand everything with an example so a 10 cm thick slab of meat wrapped in a cardboard of 1 mm thickness so here the packaging material is used here on either side is to be frozen between refrigerator plate with plate temperature minus 34 the surface heat transfer coefficient is 600 the thermal conductivity of the cardboard is 0 0.06 and the thermal conductivity of frozen meat is 1.6 and the latent heat is also given that is 2.56 into 10 raised to power 5 and density of the food material is also given 1090 and we have to calculate the freezing time if meat freezes at minus 2 degree c so the material that is given i have written here a is a thickness that is 10 centimeter and converted into 0.1 in meters and similarly for x that is thickness of the packaging material we have converted into the meters so here this is a case of packaging material so we have to find the overall heat transfer coefficient so here it is represented as hs so that particular formula that is we have discussed earlier is 1 upon hs is equal to 1 upon h plus x by k so putting all values into it we have find the actual heat transfer coefficient so now this is the planck's equation and we are going to put everything into this particular equation so in the formula we have given with the 10 centimeter thick slab so we are going to put p and r value uh, 1 upon 2 and 1 upon 8 respectively now put everything into the Planck's equation and then we can calculate the answer 4.11R. You can pause the video and calculate by yourself. So in this way these types of questions can be calculated. And if you want more this type of videos then comment below and do like, share, subscribe.